I, I've wanted to make this video for a while. Uh, about as as far back since I made that the joy creation video, I wanted to make this. Let's go and dig your teeth right into it. Okay. Candleland's a FNAF inspired project that, that was made by Golden Lane Studios. For those of you who don't know, Golden Lane St Studios is the YouTube, cha is the YouTube channel that, that made that fan made Five Nights at Freddy's 3 trailer. That, that kind of pretty scary ruin that abandoned mall. That was made those fantastically animated Night Nightmare Tron videos. Red Beast with Nightmare Foxy. Menace in the Shadows with Nightmare Bonnie, Bear in the City with Nightmare Fredbear, and Nightmare Puppet with Nightmare Own. And, and after watching these videos while writing the script, I kind of want to make a video about these now. May for July, so I don't have a video assigned for that month yet. Just a little update, there's a video assigned for July now. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, that's the video. They also made the Two Evil Eyes videos of Spirit Trap leaving Fazbear's Fright, killing this guy, teaming up with Plush Trap killing this family and then getting arrested. But let me say that again in case you missed that somehow. Springtrap, an over six foot tall animatronic, got arrested whenever he could break out of the handcuffs. There, he has something planned for part four and I want to know what it is. Just give us part four already, please. It's been three years. Anyway, with Golden Lane Stewart's fantastic FNAF animation history out of the way, let's talk about our most recent stuff, Candyland. And just like I said, it's a FNAF inspired project. And the reason I keep saying FNAF inspired is because this isn't a FNAF fan project such as Five Nights at Candies and stuff like that. This is a FNAF inspired project. Uh, uh, the best characters that may look similar to FNAF characters. It drops almost everything FNAF related. And just like all the other videos, uh, uh, the, the, the Candyland animated, animated video series is, uh, is epic. Uh, uh, every bit to the last detail um, is amazingly well animated. Now let's go ahead and take a look at episode 1, First Corruption. That, for some reason, the script has spelled with a K, and I don't know why. Anyway, uh, let's, let's talk about it. The, the video starts on stage with Candyland's host, Candy the Kangaroo. He, he says welcome and gets cafe a shot him, and after the show, he goes backstage to his, to his recharge station. Then this guy, who I think is called Mouse Mask, and that's not his name, that's what I'm calling him, walks in and types something on the computer and uh, corrupts the characters of Candyland. Candy is now corrupted. He returns to, he returns to, to stage, um, 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 turns to stage his new red eyes, and his product dot stacks one in the head with that can of his. Now on to episode 2, she's not so innocent. This has to be Kayland's uh, 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 only female character suits of snack time. Keep that in the back of your mind because that's going to come back later, okay? And it's not going to come back for that long, it's going to be there for like a brief second, but... It, um, but, 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 but it's going to come back, it, but it is going to come back. This episode starts at the entrance of Candyland with, with Susie Snack Time telling a kid a welcome and who's enjoying his time at Candyland. Then after she, then after, after she hears a young girl crying, she, she goes into Roar's game mode to investigate, with Mouse Mask stalking her from the shadows. She, she finds a young girl alone, al al along with a rabbit or kangaroo toy. It might be a kangaroo, but it might be a kangaroo, but in the script I said a rabbit, but let's pretend I put kangaroo in the script, okay? Anyway, a kangaroo, a possibly kangaroo toy, and obviously help find her parents. But then Susie's freaking mouth falls off. She tries to tell the girl to stay away, but then she powers off. Whenever she comes back on, she asks the girl to help her, and then the girl gives her mouth back. Then the video goes to black. If you ask me, this one's the best anime, and Napka is probably the best one out of the three. Not because it's the longest, but because of the animation. It feels like it's the best animated album. That's the best animated album. All of them. Introduced a lot more, well, a lot more to Candyland. The lighting looks amazing, and also because, also because the Suzu's wheels on a roller skate mode. I don't know why this sticks out the most to me, but it just feels like it's one of the coolest things. Now on to episode three, he is watching you. This one has, this one has to do with, with Tuki Tukan. A magician character, a magician character, a magician character uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, that takes his cards and throws them at a bunch of birthday candles, puts out the candles, and then it comes back to his hand. Very impressive. <laughs> After the show, he goes back to see Susie snack time, does in her mouth, and holding that kangaroo toy, and, and holding that kangaroo toy, and her eyes are burning red. Hi, Hi Susie. And that's it for that one. 
there is a fluffy Candleland band character, and his name is Mr. Smiles. He doesn't have a video dedicated to him, but he does have a play, but his first appearance is it, 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 actually in Suzu's Snack Times video. Right here. Yep, there it is. Right there in the entrance. There was also an early development trailer for Mr. Smiles uh, that, that had Suzu's Snack Time and Mr. Smiles in it. And I think it, has, it involves Mr. Smiles maybe luring Suzu's Snack Time uh, um, into a room, uh, into a room with some candy, but then capturing her or t dismantling her. I don't know. I, I was also. I was also early developed because this because believe it or not, Candyland is getting a game. A, a full game is being made about this. And if I'm being honest, I want this game to be made because Well look at the animation of these videos. Like whenever I saw Candy Lane episode one, I thought it was like actually CGI. And I was shocked to hear I was wrong, believe it or not. And by the way, since this is a FNAF inspired game and not a FNAF fan game, that, that means they can make money. So that's awesome too. Okay. Let's backpedal just a little bit. Before that channel was made, um, the, 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 there was a separate channel, channel that was made called Studio Snack Time that rebranded to Candyland after a while. But the, 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 what the channel did was make a bunch of YouTube shorts. What the channel did was make a bunch of YouTube. Sh what the channel did was make a bunch of shorts about Studio Snack Time, and I guess that didn't get, get, get a bunch of recognition. So, the, so they rebranded it to Candyland. And now, I, I believe at the moment, it has somewhere around a million subs. So, good for them. A Candyland Season 1 trailer was released on January 4th. This only had changed a little, bit, a little bit thanks to the mouse mask. Uh, I'm, I mean, take a look this trailer. We see some of Mr. Smiles diving down an elevator, Candy walking out of a fight. Who's just trying to save a young boy from falling in some bubbling liquid? Uh, 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 and, and, and Tuki doing something that looks like he's about to fight someone. Ah, what the hell is that? This thing, I don't know what it is, but but I'm 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 just gonna call it. But until I do, I'm just gonna call it Mouse Beast. It looks like a mouse mask most definitely built him. This future me here got this future me here got and and, and the future me here got. And I have a new theory theory about Mouse Beast and Mouse Mask. May Mouse Beast was meant to be a fifth character in Candyland, but was scrapped for some reason, and then he was powered back on by either a human. Or maybe a virus had gotten to Mouse Beast and it corrupted him and turned him back on. And then the virus got to the head of Mouse Mask. And then Mouse Mask. <sighs> then Mouse Mask had programmed the virus I mean, it, it, into the rest of the Candyland characters and Candyland itself. That's just another theory, though. But when it comes to Candyland story, it, it's crap I know about where it even is. Like, it's definitely not halfway done, but it's not, but it's definitely not even, like, halfway to halfway done yet, neither, so... Who knows what they're doing at the moment. Based on the could have done in the YouTube shorts was explain some of the story. Anyway, back to the video. And may will have to... And may will have to... May will have to destroy this thing in the game. Who knows? Keep in mind I said this is a season one trailer, so this has to be a YouTube series that's gonna be a prequel to that's gonna be a prequel to the game, right? So what is Candyland right now? Well, well at the moment it's a bunch of goofy YouTube shorts to characters. There was a video released about two months ago called Candyland Volume 1, but 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 it's just the videos I discussed earlier. The Candyland games the Candyland games had no updates recently. Uh, but, but, but I'm gonna be honest, I kinda hope they're still working on it. This series deserves to skip NFT territory and have something amazing made out of it. With that said, thanks for watching, I'm Superman Scrapper, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. So, I haven't decided, are you going to do it this year, or are you going to do it in 2025? I don't, I don't know yet. We'll see how the story is going right now. It looks like that. Looks like that your best option is to do it over the summer. I don't know, man. I'm just giving you what I think. Over the summer, probably be the best. Start the new timeline in the fall. Easy as that.
I'll think about it. Okay, good.